Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Build a Mission course. Now you remember last time we ended off at Covaletti here and uh, we had just laid down some airplanes. Now I've added, a bit, I've added a bit more. Okay, now all of these are static objects. I have no groups down yet. Okay, so I added, you know, a couple of watchtowers here with some soldiers. Again, static. These are not group units. They're just static. They don't move. You can't set waypoints for them. None of that. Okay. Set it few helicopters, you know, some action down over here, you know, just to sort of try to bring the map to life a little bit. Got a little road outpost over here. Okay, go through the statics menu, okay, and so you can find all this stuff, you know, so here in the structures you can see the road outpost, you know, you can find um, a bunch of really cool stuff. Here's your watchtower, or that's a water tower, here's the watchtower, and this is armed. Um, if anything does approach it, it actually does shoot, um, which is odd because there's nobody in it, but you know, what the hell. Um, go through all the different um, um, statics first before you start building your mission, before you start laying things down. Just go through each category and sort of see what's out there. Okay, you know, um, on your cargoes you can have barrels and, you know, your different barriers and things like that. This is all stuff that you can actually pick up, which is kind of cool. Um, so anyway, so I've gone ahead and started decorating the map. Okay, sort of setting the area now and then what I've done is I created a static just so we did just as we did before and here's a communications tower this one's kind of cool to put in okay <clears throat> and so same process um, that we have been doing just like we did with the air with the aircraft just like we did with the aircraft carrier um, I took everything else off the map then made a um, a new static template okay um, oops didn't want to do that and you can see that I've got it right here. So it's this guy right here, you know. Um, the other thing that I will tell you guys right now is you see how it says superimpose units 31. So it's going to lay units down top of each other. Right now there's a bug with this. Don't do this. If it does it, if it does this, what you need to do is delete everything else that's on there. What, what it means is that it's trying to copy an object onto an object that's already there. Okay, don't do this. Um, I tested this last night and to see if it would just replace the units that were missing. And what happened when I loaded into the sim, I had this sheet white, horrible glare no matter where you looked. You could sort of see the aircraft and everything behind it, but it was it was bad. And the, how I, the only way I could fix it was I had to go back in, delete everything from Cobaletti, and then re-add my um, template, and everything was fine. Loaded back into the sim, and we didn't have any issues. All right, so don't do that. All right, so I've already created this. So let's go ahead and go back to our... Uh, VCW 13 mission right now we're in our test mission so let's go back here and I think I already laid it all down let's check yep I did okay so I already copied it over here so I just came in here you know deleted everything that we already had on Cobaletti left these left these and just hit my uh, load static like we just did and placed it down so that was cool <clears throat> and so now I promised to show you guys how to quickly move aircraft around if you want to copy things uh, from one um, airfield to the other and it's really it's probably the fastest way to do it honestly without having to continuously lay things down so all you do is just take your lead aircraft pick it up so I'm clicking left click and holding and let's say we want to copy these guys over to Batumi okay bring them over thunk drop them down and then you know just like before you can assign the parking spaces over here if they're not where you want whatever and then when you're done you just pick them up and all you have to do is just grab the lead plane Okay, and we're just going to come right back over here, and you want to sort of put the mouse, put the aircraft on the parking spot that you want it to go to. Like if we were to drop it over here, it would populate this one and this one, and then we don't know where the other two would go. Okay, so just do that, and boom, we're back where we were. So that's an easy way to copy it. So what you would do is take your aircraft, drop it over at Batumi, delete all of this, create your new static template, and then, you know, name it accordingly like we did before. Okay. Um... So let's move on here. Today I want to show you guys how to make a FARP. Okay, um, the FARP is, is a lot of fun for the helicopters. Um, now we're not going to make a static template for the FARPs because remember the static template is going to remember the location on the map. And the nice thing about a FARP is you may want to move it around. You know, with our airfield way over here for a helicopter, you know, even for a helicopter, that's sort of a boring flight if you're just coming over here to train and practice. Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up our units list okay here's the units list right here triangle square 
uh, and diamond. Okay, grab that. And here's what it's showing you. Helicopters, planes, vehicles, ships, statics, all. Okay, and you can filter this out. So if we only want it to show us statics in this list, we can uncheck everything else. And here's all the statics that we currently have laid down. But I want everything because I'm going to wipe out the map. That way we can do our testing. So you can just do this and hold delete. And you can see the unit number counting down. And boom, we have an empty map. Okay, so easy way to do that, which is nice. And we'll just go ahead and drop a save in here. So now let's come over here and let's see here. We're going to be doing right about here. So let's just drop this guy in. And the reason why... Actually, you know what? we can do this on the real map. Let's go to our real map. Let's go to VCW13. Let's come back over here. And we're going to want to do... Where do we want the helos? How about you? they got to have a little flight. How about right here? Maybe next to a road. There we go. Let's drop it right in here. All right. So let's go ahead and find our location for our FARP. Like I said, I think right in here will be good. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just make this FARP Alpha. And what I've done is gone to USA, pick the right coalition, structures, and we're going to look for, or excuse me, sorry, we're going to look for heliports first. Then we're going to find FARP. Okay. And we're going to just throw this guy down here. And this is a very large square that you're dealing with here. So <clears throat> you can either, you know, leave it as is. Or you can change its position. Pos position? Come down, money, penny. Um, change your position as you choose. I'm going to try to keep it semi-close to the road here. So we can have a little fun with that maybe later. We'll see. And sort of keep it in line. Okay, now you have your call sign for this particular FARP. We'll go ahead and use Paris, and you can see the frequency here. Now, I believe that's the same as the carrier, so we're going to change that. And let's make this 122.5. And there's, we're not going to worry about linking the unit because this links it to one of the other objects out there, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, full info, again, just like we can do with the airfields, you can change its suppliers, okay, how much it can support of what. Um, unlimited aircraft, you can go to the liquids, how much fuel it has on it, um, and then the ordnance that can be loaded from it. <clears throat> and uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to leave all that default for right now. You can add a supplier, so you can say it gets its supplies if you have things limited. We can tell it that Cobaletti is a supplier, so as it reduces, it will pull from Cobaletti until Cobaletti's out. But again, that's only if you're limiting the supplies, which we're not doing today. Okay, maybe at one of the uh, later missions or later um, parts of the area, like one of the live combat areas, maybe we'll do that. Just just to add a little twist. Okay, now here's the tick. With the frequency set, the call sign is set. Currently, this FARP cannot be reached by radio. Okay, it cannot do a rearm. It cannot do a refuel. Okay, it cannot do a repair. So we need to add a few more objects, and there's a couple different ways to do it. So the first thing we're going to do, let's add, um, go to our ground vehicles here, and we're going to call this FARP Blue 4. Okay? And the reason why we're naming this is because we're going to make a template out of this group that we can easily lay down. So you have your heliports here, and so let's do, let's add a truck. Okay, so this is, we're going to need the transport here, and the transport 818 under the unarmed section, so we are go to our category, select unarmed, then go to transport and find the M818, M88, Jesus, M818, gosh, I can't talk, and what we can name this if you want is, um, actually, well, we're not going to worry about the unit name, you can name it if you want to, um, but the the reason why this has to be here is the transport will take care of ammunition, ground power, and storage. Okay, if it's not on here, go back to edit waypoint. Remember I told you before that when you first lay a unit down, it's automatically set to create waypoints. Um, and we'll sort of just put this guy out here for the moment. And uh, so anyway, um, he just has to be within 490 feet of the center of it. Okay, so if we take our ruler here. And you can just ballpark it or just come right off the blue line here. You know, he can be all the way out to about here. 
okay, this range here. Um, but you want it to be 490 feet, so I normally keep them on the pad. Okay, that way I don't have to worry about whether or not they are in range. Because pretty much anywhere on the pad, they're going to be in range. Alright, so that's the first guy we need. And again, he's going to cover ammo, ground power, and repair. And there's two ways to set this up. I'm going to show you both of them. The second one we're going to need is ATC and activating the lights. So we're going to go ahead and just add a unit. Okay, and we're going to change this. We're going to stay in the unarmed category. And we're going to find the M1025 Humvee right there, APC. Okay, and let's put him maybe over here. Okay, just sort of parked somewhere nearby. And then finally, the last unit we're going to need is refuel. So we're going to need a tanker. In which case, the tanker we're going to be looking for is the 978 Hemet. And we can put him maybe back over here, Jalen. Okay, maybe near a, one of the pads. All right. <clears throat> and so this is all you need in order for the FARP to operate. We have our ATC right here. We have our ammo, ground, power, and repair, and we have our refuel. Okay. As long as you have these three units, all of the functions on the ground crew will operate. All right. Now, there's a second way to do this. All right. I'm going to show you guys that right now. But here, first, what we're going to do is we're just going to create... Keep the group selected, remember, and we're going to go to Edit, Add Template, FARP Blue 4, and we're just going to copy the name because I am good with that, and Save Template, okay? So now, you know, in the future, all I have to do, you know, is delete that group, is we can just go Add Template, we're under USA, find our FARP, Thunk, okay, and done. All right, now we have, you have everything you need for the FARP, and we know this guy's our lead guy, and we can just move them around as we choose, okay? <clears throat> All right, so that's taken care of. So now let me show you option two for creating a FARP. We're gonna delete these guys. Option two, and this one requires a little bit more work um, because again, the way the static templates work, remember, we can't really create a group from it um, because it will remember the location, okay? But if we wanted to do it using statics, what we would do is now come here to structures and we're going to find the FARP section. And there's everything we need. Ammo storage, command post, fuel depot, and a FARP tent. I'm not sure what the FARP tent does. I, I don't know if that's just decoration. Um, the ammo storage, self-explanatory. However, the command post alone, so if we lay our command post down, all right, and I'm just gonna sort of set it right here. And you can see right here, that brown line, that's this, that's the front of it. So, you know, as you're angling it, angle or uh, adjust it accordingly to how you want. So let's sort of straighten this guy out a little bit. And actually the command post, I mean, it's gotta be in the center, right? So we're gonna put that there. Now, as far as I can tell, and this guy I will name CMD, okay? This will handle your ATC. It can also do ammo. Um, and I believe it can do repair. I haven't actually damaged an aircraft on purpose to test if it does a repair, but when I tell the ground crew to do it, I don't get an argument back. What it cannot do is um, refuel, and it cannot um, uh, do ground power. Okay, so let's keep going here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to copy this guy for now and go Control-C here. And we're going to throw another station here, but we're going to change it now. So next we're going to go to the fuel depot. Okay, and you can see the fuel depot has this little soldier out in front of it. It's kind of cool, right? And so we're just going to call this FARP Fuel. All right, so now we can refuel, all right? And then finally, the last one we're going to do, and we'll go ahead and control see this guy and maybe throw something over here just to mix it up a bit, is we'll throw in an ammo storage, but like I said, as far as I can tell, this isn't required. Um, but we'll throw it on there just to keep things interesting. Okay, it's there, so why not, right? And again, this right here, this highlight area is right here. So that's the front of it. <clears throat> and then finally, if you really want to, I have not found a purpose for this at all, is the tent. We can just sort of just throw this guy down. He can even be outside of it. All right, so we have our 
ammo storage, we have our fuel, and we have our command post. With these three here, you should be able to do everything that you need to do on the um, FARP. Like I said, the tent may be a part of repairing. I'm not sure. Um, so this is option two for building your FARPs. And then from here, you can simply create your helicopter group. Okay, so use a UH, we'll use a UH-1, set it to client. UH-1H and Huey. And we'll call this Huey-1. I'm just going to lay one down for right now. We're going to set it down, and we're going to do takeoff from ramp. Now, the cool thing about the helicopters is you can also do takeoff from ground. So if we do takeoff from ground, you can literally... I hate it, did it again. You can literally put it anywhere. So this is kind of the cool thing about helicopters, is you can put them absolutely anywhere you want. Um, but they won't have all these resources available to them. So in this case, we're going to do takeoff from ramp. We still want it to start up cold. And it'll drop it right here, but you can put four of them down and it'll take off from that position. You might even be able to put more of them that here, but once all four of these slots are occupied, no one else will be able to spawn there until it um, resolves itself, right? Until there's a free spot. And you can take these FARPs and you can duplicate them, right? Maybe have two of them side by side. All right, but then you wanna pay attention to your frequencies so you know which one you know, you're landing at and you wanna be able to identify those easily. But again, remember what I was saying before that uh, the ATC isn't really a requirement, so um, it's not a huge deal. But in this case, we're just going to use the one for right now. Um, I'll probably add some more after today's tutorial, you know, build it up a little bit. But, so now we can make a static template here if we wanted to, okay? Um, but I think we're actually in, yeah, we're in our VCW-13 mission. Because I was using a group, and I'm going to keep it at that, because I kind of like having the trucks and everything around, all right? <clears throat> And like I said, I may add more to this later. It all depends. Um, you can have both, you know, have the command center. You know, one of the things I like to do. So let's go ahead and build it up. You know, let's, let's bring this back up. Let's have some fun here. So we're going to put our, our tents here. And let's rotate it a little bit here. We have a spot for our guys. Oh, going the wrong way. Okay. And we'll go ahead and copy this. Maybe put one here. Another one here, okay. And then let's put our, um, I'm gonna paste one here, but I'm not gonna use that. So watch this. We're gonna change this to, look for a communication tower, it's comms tower, okay, that's what it looks like. And if you look real closely, you can see the cabling that comes off of it. So pay attention to that as you're doing this. Because what I sometimes do is I'll throw it like sort of in the center. Um, well, maybe I didn't. You know, no, I think I stopped doing that because of this. <laughs> so what I can do is put it sort of here in the back, trying to watch those wire lines. And they stop like right here, so it's not too bad. But we'll put that there, okay? And then now let's add, and we'll do this Farb Alpha comms. Uh, we'll do tower. There we go. And let's do another... Control V over here. And this one we're going to make, um, let's bring up our FARP stuff. So we'll bring the ammo storage here, right? We put an ammo storage right here. Zip this guy around. Okay, and then we'll Control C him. Oh, I don't think I hit Control C. Control C him and do another paste there and let's change this to a command post and maybe these guys are right next to each other got the command post on one side then we'll do a control V again and we'll just do some command I forgot to change this to ammo okay and then we'll do another paste and we'll make this fuel and fuel depots. Maybe we'll put more than one around just to sort of add some some life to the area. Maybe you got one right here, you know, next to each of the pads or something. Maybe between two of them at least. Another one over here. Okay, so not hustling these barrels all over the place. 
And then now, let's let's bring our group in. So let's do an add template. Again, oh, already on it. Thunk. Okay, remember to close this window before you hit your mouse button again. Grab this guy, and now we can add a little bit to it, right? So first thing is always take your lead unit and put it where you want it. So we're going to throw the truck maybe back over here. Okay. And this is probably really unrealistic. I'm sure that's not how they would have it in the real world, but, you know, it's kind of fun. Now, your truck, you know, let's put him sort of right here, chilling between the two sections, you know. And then, where's our last guy? Our tanker. Oh, that's right. This is a supply truck. So let's move the supply truck. Now we're going to have to move everything again because I was a dork. So let's put the supply truck maybe right next to the ammo storage, right? Maybe he's dropping stuff off. And then we can take our truck over here, our comms truck. And let's see if we're still within the threshold. You know, because remember, the, these, the command center, it can absolutely be destroyed. Now we're outside of it. So let's see what our limit is here. 490 feet right about here. So I'll tell you what, here's what we'll do. We'll take our tents from right here on the edge. Then we can take our truck, turn it, sort of park next to the tent, right? Add a little bit of something. Anyway, so you guys can see, you guys can really build them up. And then so if we go ahead and you can add static soldiers if you want, we can do so something that would be kind of fun. Let's go back to our statics. And we're just going to throw something down right here. We're going to change this. We're gonna find personnel now. This guy actually belongs on the boat, but let's look for this guy. You know, kind of guy in a blue shirt walking around. And we're gonna do Farp Alpha and do personnel, right? Maybe he's just over here next to the fuel. I mean, you got a guard right here, but the guard obviously isn't gonna be the one refueling it. And we're just gonna copy him. They drop two guys here that are sort of facing each other. Okay, he probably got one over here next to the fuel truck. Maybe you got a guy right here working on the comms. Another one here next to the truck. Just simple things that, believe it or not, as you're flying in and you're approaching, sorry, as you're approaching the um, air base, will just sort of add something. So, like, check this out. Let's, and even when you start up sometimes, it just adds just a little bit to give it a little flavor, if you will. So we come in here, we'll find our FARP Alpha. We've got our Huey. Control Enter if you guys want to get rid of that Controls window. Controls window, bring it up. Okay, this, for those of you who don't know, this is a uh, indicator of all your axis. Okay, you can see sort of everything moving there as I'm moving the throttle around. Okay, but you guys can sort of see what this did. So let's go, let's get rid of that toolbar, I hate that thing, versus just a green square, and then you get an idea, so the one thing that the map doesn't show you real well is uh, the three-dimensional terms, right, so you can sort of see at our ammo depot over there in our truck, they're sort of buried in the grass, same thing with the command center, so we'll move those forward, but you can see our tent and our comms tower there, right, so let's go, let's go back into our mission a little bit, and let's take these guys and move them up just a bit. Just like that. And again, you have to watch your other units. Probably moved our truck around. It did. So maybe put the truck over here now. Just because I felt like it needed to move now. Alright. <clears throat> but things like that. And you can add more. You know, you can add a bunch more trucks. You know, if we wanted to increase the number of units. You know, we can click on this vehicle and, you know, sort of thunk a couple more out. Now it's going to bring them to where the initial starting point was. But... Let's say you had a few trucks that you wanted to line up here. All right. It's kind of like that. The nice thing is it gives you a little redundancy too on your FARP if it ever gets attacked. You know, if they don't take out all of these trucks, you still have your ATC. If they don't take out all of your tankers, you know, if you add a couple more tankers, 
you know, so let's click back on the group, you know. Um, where did you go? There it is. So if you have more than one tanker and your FARP gets attacked and it doesn't take out all the tankers, well, then your helicopters don't lose the ability to refuel and rearm. Or refuel, excuse me. Um, so, you know, when you're building your mission, sort of think on those terms that, you know, let's, hey, let's spread things out a little bit. Um, that way, maybe all in one pass, you know, it still leaves your FARP operational, right? And that goes with all the units. Same thing with these command posts, you know, your static units. If you do more than one, again, redundancy, because these can absolutely be destroyed. And the last thing we'll do is create a road outpost, right? So I'll show you guys that one, because that's another kind of fun one. And this will be pretty much the end of um, static template tutorials. Everything else we'll just I'll sort of do and get it as we go. So we're going to drop a new object down here. Um, we're not going to use that. We're going to come here and go to structures. And again, this is something that can be attacked and destroyed. So this one's kind of cool. And we're going to look for a road outpost. And you have two different kind of outposts. You have road outpost and then just outpost. So if you look at outpost, okay, there's really nothing to it. It's just a couple buildings and a fence line, right? But road outpost, you get the street guards. So this is kind of cool. So let's just sort of, and this is probably, again, not really realistic, but it's kind of fun to put them here. And so let's go ahead and throw this guy here. And this is the front entryway, the gate, based on the way that it's designed, the gate would come out this way, okay? So we got our road outpost, and let's do outpost, oops, alpha again, because it's near the FARP. And then now, let's get a new ground group, and there's nothing specific that you guys have to do with this. This is totally for the ground crew here. This is all your preference. There's nothing... Uh, required here but so let me show you here what we're gonna do we're gonna do unarmed let's start with a Humvee okay and let's put a Humvee here oh crap let's turn them too and remember we're on the ads so I'm gonna switch it to edit so that way we don't create any waypoints and he's sort of parked back in here can't tell is that the front no that's the back so he's we want him like that that way he can get out and yes I really do think like this so uh, and we're gonna call this Outpost Alpha Ground. Okay. Let's add a vehicle. And let's see where you went. And let's make this one armored. And MP APC. Now let's get crazy. This outpost is housing somebody really freaking important and is guarded by the M1. Because there's, there's nothing cooler than being able to say, hey, I have an M1 here. And let's see here. We're going to be guarding things coming in this way, I guess. So we're going to throw the M1 right here. Sort of off-center him a little bit. Maybe that's that way, sort of looking down the road. Let's add one more vehicle, at least for the moment. And we're going to look for AA, and let's find... I thought that was a Vulcan. There it is. M163 Vulcan, so our version of the Shilka, all right? Give him, give him a little air protection here. And he's probably back over here. So just hanging out. And then let's add some soldiers. So this, now we're gonna go to infantry. And M1 Garand, that's a little back, so let's use the M4. And we're gonna need, let's do two of those guys and maybe number four is using the M249 maybe two of them alright so these guys are a little harder to see but here's what we're gonna do with them oops that happens if you right click it I have no idea what the purpose of that is so we're gonna put one guy here right guarding the side of the post give him a wingman here we're gonna grab this guy here he's got the 249 him come over here. One with the 249, one with the M4. And then just sort of have this last guy. Maybe he's sort of just like right here. Okay. Okay. So again, you can get crazy with it. You can put supply trucks in it. You know what? Let's throw one more vehicle in it. 
we're gonna go to eight here. We don't need another M1, but let's do an unarmed and let's find that transport. There we go. And where did he go? Here he is. Okay, so maybe you got the transport, right? These guys need a way other than the Humvee to get in and out. So maybe you've got a transport right here ready to roll. <clears throat> and there's something right there. You gotta watch for things like this. This is a light post or something, but there's something right there. So let's just put the truck maybe right here. And again, this may not be accurate, but. So we've got our group highlighted. So now all I'm gonna do is once again, this is a good template to have. We're gonna add template, outpost alpha ground. And template name, I'm just going to have it outpost ground. Okay, so it doesn't need to have the outpost alpha in it. And save template. And so now, if we wanted to repeat this and we put another outpost somewhere, um, like for example, I think I've got one up here at, yep. So we're just going to thunk. Oh, I have the wrong group selected. That was my fault. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> So let's go back to edit, add template, and let's find outpost ground. And we're just gonna set them down and we just need to find that lead unit. So this was our first unit. Oh, damn it, I did it again. You guys have no idea how obnoxious that can get. All right, so now what we're gonna do, it's all in the same position. So we're just gonna sort of pull everything in here. And that's actually really offset. It doesn't make much sense, does it? Oh, you know what? It's because they're rotated differently. So, either way, you can still drop this guy in like this. Turn it like that. Then just pick your guys up and sort of fine-tune it. You know, how you prefer, like even this guy, it could probably be a little bit further out over here. And voila! Okay, easy replication of a road outpost. And so real quick, let's go in the mission, take a peek at what it all looks like. And let's go back here. <clears throat> and actually something cool that I like to do is we'll come here. I like to hit my satellite because I hate the colors. It's like blinding. And you can click on the map, any map you want, so any airfield, and then press F11, and the free roam camera will take you to it. And so now let's just sort of come over here. We have an outpost right here. And that actually worked out pretty good it's a little close to the fence line than it would normally have but what the hell right and let's go take a look at our farp and you can see the comms tower here okay so we could probably add a little bit more it could do with a little bit more action oh and you got to watch for things like that okay you see what happened to the truck i've seen that before that's unfortunately a texture error there isn't much we can do about that except for move the truck all right, but then we got this guy over here. This one, this one worked out pretty well. I like this one. Okay, because they're going to come right down the tree line. You know, so if we were to, a vehicle was to come down this way, this is what they would approach to. So that's kind of cool, right? But anyway, all right. So enough show and tell. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on creating farps and continuing with static objects. After this, we're going to start getting into some fun stuff. We'll start laying down surface to air missile systems, start looking at target areas, making groups for target areas um, and, and things of that nature. So stay tuned for the next one, guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of future content. And as always, stay safe. Talk to you guys later.